In this video, I will show you how you can create your own custom trained AI chatbot on ManyChat. And I will show you how you can just fill in the URL of any website and your chatbot can automatically answer questions about that website within minutes. And you can train your chatbot on any type of custom data. So you can train it on your website, on PDFs, on text, on question and answers. You can even connect it to your own Notion account. And I will guide you step by step. So I will show you what AI tool you should use, how you can connect it to ManyChat, and how you can use this custom AI in your ManyChat automations. And at the end, I will even give you the template for free so you don't have to build it yourself. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Joran and I'm the founder of Chatomize. And at Chatomize, we are inspiring over 50,000 people every month to create chat automations, to generate more leads, increase revenue and reduce costs. And we are working with businesses from small to large and in any industry. So if you just follow the steps in this tutorial, it will work for your business as well. So to create our custom AI chatbot, we are going to use Chatbase. And Chatbase is an AI tool that you can train on your own custom data, such as your website and PDFs. So what you need to do is you can just go to chatomize.com slash CB, and this will bring you directly to the Chatbase website. And here you can just click on build your chatbot or you can click on try for free and then you can create your own free Chatbase account. But I already have an account, so I'll just click on sign in and then I will sign in with my own Google account. And now I'm logged in and I can just click on new chatbot. And then first we need to determine on what source we want to train our data. So we can determine we want to do it on files, we can do it on text, we can do it on our own website, we can do it on question and answers, we can even connect it to Notion. So for the sake of this tutorial, I will just train it on my own website, but you can train it on any type of custom data that you want. So if you go to website, you can just fill in the URL of your website and then click on fetch links. And once you click on fetch links, what Chatbase will do is that it will grab all the links of your website and then it will use those links to train the chatbot on that. But because I have a lot of URLs on my website that will actually take pretty long time. So now I will just grab the 10 most important URLs of my website and will train Chatbase on them. So what you can do is you can just click on add under included links and then I will just fill in my 10 most important URLs. So now I've added the 10 most important URLs and I can just click on create chatbot. And now Chatbase will train itself on the URLs that I have provided. And now the chatbot is created and it says it's still training your chatbot on the provided links. So this can take a few minutes before Chatbase has finally finished that. But once it has finished that, we can actually talk immediately with our chatbot in the Chatbase interface. And now my chatbot have been trained on all the data. And if you want to check that, you can just go to sources, go to website, and then here you can see all the URLs that it has been trained on. So now we see that it has trained on all the data. And if we go back, we can talk to our chatbot. So for example, now I can say, what is an Instagram chatbot? And this is a question that is answered on my website and says an Instagram chatbot, also known as an Instagram DM bot, is a computer program that can automatically reply to messages on Instagram. For example, if I say, what is a Discord chatbot, which is also answered on my website, then it says a Discord chatbot is an automated conversation partner on Discord. So this is great. So now this chatbot can automatically answer questions about my website just by filling in those URLs. And we can even give it custom instructions. So if we go to the settings and then go to the model, then here we can give it custom instructions. So here it says, for example, your name is AI Assistant, but I can change this to your name is Chatomize Assistant, then click on save. And then if I go back and talk to the chatbot again, I can say, okay, what is your name? And then it says, 
my name is the Chatamize assistant. So it's grabbing this very quickly. And we can do actually do way more. So we can also set the model that we want to use. So we can use 3.5, but we can also use four. And you can also determine the temperature that you want to use. So you can set it to reserved or you can set it to very creative. And a great part about chat base is that we can also determine how our chatbot is going to respond. So if we go to the dashboard, then here you will see all the chat logs. So here you can see the questions that are asked to the chat base chatbot and you can also determine how it needs to reply. So for example, if someone says, what is a discord chatbot? And I actually want to revise this answer. I can just click on revise answer and then I can put in an expected response. So I can actually tell Chatbase, hey, I didn't like this response very good. The response should be something else. And then Chatbot will update its answer and will train on your expected response. And by doing this, you can manually improve the answers of your AI Chatbot. So this is great. So we can give it custom instructions and we can also revise the answers that it gives. And the next step is to connect our Chatbase Chatbot to ManyChat. And to do that, we're going to use Make. And Make is an integration platform that you can use to connect applications to each other without using a single line of code. So what you can do is you can just go to chatomize.com slash make, and this will bring you directly to the Make website. And then if you just log in and sign up for a new account, you will also get one month of the pro plan for free if you're using my link. So I also added the link in the description. So what you can do is you can just fill in your information and click on sign up for free, but I already have an account. So I'll just click on, I already have an account and sign in with my own account. So once you are logged in, we need to click on create a new scenario. So an integration between two applications in Make is called a scenario. And then the first step in this scenario is ManyChat because we want to trigger this automation from ManyChat. So what we do is we can just click on this, search for ManyChat, click on it, and then select the watch incoming data. And then we need to create a webhook. So I'll just click on create a webhook and we can name this send question to Chatbase because that's the thing that we're going to do. And I already have a connection here because I connected ManyChat to make in the past. But if you don't have that, you can just click on add and then you can give it a name. So I will just call this Chatomize account ManyChat. And then you need to fill in your access token. And the access token is the API token you get from ManyChat. So if you go to ManyChat, go to settings and then you go to fields. And if you scroll down to API, then here you can just copy your API key and fill it over here and then click on save. So now we have connected ManyChat to make and we can actually use this inside our ManyChat flows. So we can just click on save and that's working. And then we need to go to ManyChat and create a new automation. So we can just click on automation, click on new automation. And then as a first step, we want to ask a very simple question. So we want to ask, okay, what is the question that you have for Chatbase? And once they answer that question, we are sending the question to Chatbase and then Chatbase will send the answer back. So what we will do is I will add a messenger message. And by the way, this will work for any channel. So it will work for WhatsApp, it will work for Instagram, and it will work for Telegram, and it will also work for Facebook Messenger. But for this video, I will just use Facebook Messenger as an example, but the integration will work on any channel. So what we can do is we can add a user input and we can say, what question do you have for Chatbase? And then the reply type will be a text, and we are going to save the response to a custom field. So we'll add a new user field, which will be chat base question and click on create. And once someone has answered that question, we can add an action and this will trigger make. So we can just click on trigger make here. And then the webhook will be sent question to chat base, which is the one we just created. So then we can click on set live and we can click on preview in Facebook Messenger. 
And what I will do is I will click on run once. Oh, we need to save this, I think. Okay. And then click on run once. And what we're going to do now is we are going to trigger this once. So make notes what data we are going to use from ManyChat and what data ManyChat ultimately sends to make. So what we can do is I go to Messenger and then here it asks, what question do you have for Chatbase? So I will just say, what is an Instagram chatbot? And then if we go to make, and then here you see what data ManyChat has sent to make, and we can actually use that data in the rest of our integration. So the next step is to connect Chatbase to make. So to do that, we can just add another module. We can search for Chatbase, click on it, and then we need to choose for send a message. And then here I already have a connection, but if you don't have a connection yet, you can just click on add. And then here you can just fill in the name of your connection. So I will call it the Chatomize Chatbase account. And then here we need to fill in the API key that we get from Chatbase. And in order to get an API key from Chatbase, you actually need to have a paid account and that already starts at $19 a month. And I highly recommend going with a paid account because then you can use this custom AI in your ManyChat bot and you can actually save a lot of time and money by using it. So once you go to Chatbase, you actually need to go to account and then here you can manage your subscription and actually upgrade to a paid account. Once you have done that, then here you have your API keys. And then you can just click on create a new secret key. And then you can just copy that from here. And we go back to make. And then here we can paste that API key. And it's very important that you don't share this API key with anyone else besides yourself. So you can just click on save. And now make is checking if that connection is working. And now it has checked the connection and the connection is working. So the next step that we need to do is add the chatbot ID. So if we go to Chatbase and then go, I'll just click here, go to chatbots. And then here we have our chatbot. And if you go to settings, then here we have our chatbot ID. So I can just copy this, then paste that over here. Then we need to determine the model. So the model will be 3.5 turbo. And then we need to determine the message that we want to send to Chatbase. So we can just click on add item. And then here the content will be the custom field that we have in ManyChat. So we can just search here for Chatbase. And then here we can select the Chatbase question. So we will send the Chatbase question to Chatbase and the role will be user. Then the string will be empty. The temperature will also be empty and the conversation ID also. So we can just click on OK. And what we actually can do to test if this is working correctly, we can just click on run this module only. So we, we can do this with a right mouse click and then click on run this module only. And we can just fill in the question. So we can just say, what is an Instagram chatbot? Click on OK. And now let's send this to Chatbase. And as you can see, we get a text back from Chatbase that we can then send to ManyChat. So the next step is to send this Chatbase answer from Chatbase to ManyChat. And we're going to do that in two steps. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a custom field in ManyChat where we store the answer from Chatbase. And then we're going to send a flow that contains that custom field. So if we go to ManyChat, we can go to settings, we can go to fields, and then here we can add a new user field, which will be called chatbase answer, and then click on create. And then if we go to make here, what we can do is we can set a custom field. So we can click on many chat, select the set a custom field. And then here we can select the subscriber ID. We can determine the field that we want to fill. So this will be chat base answer. And then we can determine the field value. So the field value will be the text that we get from chat base. And then we need to send a many chat flow. So what we can do is we can create a new many chat automation. 
and I will just call this chat base answer and this flow will just consist of one message and that message will be the custom field that we fill in the integration. So that is it. And again, if you want to create this for another channel, you can just use an Instagram message or WhatsApp message or a Telegram message. I'm just using Facebook Messenger as an example, but this will work on any channel. So we can just click on set live. And then here we need to grab the content part. So this is actually the flow ID and we need this flow ID inside make. So we can just copy this. And then here we are going to add another module and this will be sent a flow. So this will be the subscriber ID again and this will be the flow ID. So then we can just click on OK and then this should be working. So what this integration does is that it waits for data from ManyChat. When ManyChat has sent the question, we can send that question to Chatbase. Then Chatbase gives an answer. We're going to store that answer in a custom field and then we're going to send a flow that has that custom field and basically has the chat base answer. So what we can do is we can just click on run once and we are going to set it to wait for new data and then I will just go back to the question flow that we created before. I will preview it in Facebook Messenger. So I will say what question do you have for chat base and I say what is an Instagram chatbot? Oh. Then this will be sent to Chatbase and then Chatbase will give the response with an Instagram chatbot, also known as an Instagram DM bot, is a computer program that can automatically reply to messages on Instagram. So this is working. So now we can automatically answer any questions about our website within minutes in our ManyChat chatbot. And the only thing you have to do now is just click on on and now this will always work. So every time someone asks a question about Chatbase, we can just send that to Chatbase and then Chatbase will send the response back to ManyChat and we can use that inside our ManyChat chatbot. And that's it. That's how you can create your own custom trained AI chatbot using ManyChat Make and Chatbase. And this was just a very simple example of how you can do this with just 10 website URLs, but you can train it on any type of custom data. So you can train it on your website, on PDFs, and much more. And in the link in the description, there is my template that you can just download for free so you don't have to build it yourself. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on using custom AI in ManyChat or on using Chatbase or Make, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.